Today we're talking about what happens when you don't drink enough water. Stay tuned. So many people don't drink water every day. They rely on coffee and juices and soda pop. And a lot of people say maybe they'll only have one or two cups of water per day. There's a lot of detrimental effects on your body when you don't drink enough water. Now, if you're wondering how much water you should actually have, check out the link above and I explain it in my other video. But the short version is you should be drinking half your weight in ounces of water. So here's what happens when you don't drink enough water. Number one is you'll bloat. It seems counterintuitive that if you don't drink water, then you should shed it. But if you don't get enough water, your body will basically freak out and hold on to whatever it can. So you'll retain that water, you'll feel disgusting, and you'll have that bloated feeling that we all hate. This is the number one thing I always advise women to do and anybody to do when they're trying to lose weight is to up their water intake. Number two is you'll feel tired and sluggish. Maybe you drag yourself through the day and you just can't figure out why you're so tired because you had adequate sleep. Chances are you probably are dehydrated. Number three is you'll feel hungrier. A lot of times we confuse our hunger for thirst and we will go and head towards the food and eat and still feel hungry all day. Drink water before you eat, see if it's actually thirst, wait 15 to 20 minutes, and then if you still decide you're hungry, then go eat something. Number four is your weight loss goes in the dumpster. Like I said, the first thing I tell anybody when they wanna lose weight is to up their water intake. After drinking water, it's actually been proven that you can increase your metabolism by 30%. There was a study done from the Journal of Endocrinology and Metabolism, and they found that after drinking 17 ounces or two glasses of water, you can increase your metabolism by 30%, which equates to weight loss. So I don't know about you, but it's worth it to drink your water. Number five is you get headaches. A dehydration headache can be mild or it can actually feel like a migraine. You can feel it in the front, the back, the side, and all over. So if you feel like you're getting a headache, go run, grab the water, and see if that helps. Number six is your face is starting to look like crap. You could break out, you'll look older, your skin won't be as bright, and lines and wrinkles may appear more prominent than it did before. One of the things I notice too is if I'm too dehydrated, I will look at my stomach and actually any type of loose skin on there will show worse. So if I'm getting ready to go to the beach or going you know, somewhere I'm gonna be in a bikini, then I make sure that I am super hydrated so that I don't have any of that loose skin. Number seven is you'll have a tough time going to the bathroom, either number one or number two. And if it's number one, it's gonna be darker. And if it's number two, it might not happen for you. You should be going every day, at least every day. And if you are peeing dark yellow, then it's time to up your water. When you do eliminate, that's what transports your toxins. So if you are not having that water to transport it, you are gonna feel super sluggish. You're gonna feel literally like crap and you're most likely gonna see other symptoms as well from not eliminating those toxins, like skin flare-ups. Number eight is foggy thinking. Your brain is made up of 80% of water. So it's understandable if you are dehydrated, you'll get foggy thinking, you'll lose concentration, you'll have an all-round hard time. Up that water again and give yourself the best chance to be at work and be able to do your job. <laughs> Number nine is crankiness and mood swings. Life is tough as it is, so if drinking water makes me less of a bag, I'll take it. And finally, number 10, cravings will start to happen. You'll probably be craving sweet or salty, especially the sugary food because your body's looking for that energy, so you will have increased cravings. I hope that helps you. Make sure to up your water. Comment below. Tell me if you experienced any of these things, and if you did up your water, what you noticed. Click the thumbs up button if you like this video. Be sure to subscribe and be part of the Bodies After Babies channel. And please share this if you find that other mummies will find this valuable. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.